Good morrow, VHS. I am Vito Santulo, the Big VC, and this is The Rundown, your weekly update at VHS. The African American Cultural Club meets on Thursdays in South 108 in the Tanner Building. New members are welcome. Remember to pre-order your Down Syndrome Awareness Socks for Rock Your Socks Day coming up on March. Orders are due to Miss Smith in C14 in the South Building no later than February 28th. Math after school assistance will be available in room D121 uh, Monday through Thursday each week for additional information and announcements. Join Google Classroom code ARXE3NG. VHS's uh, school literary magazine would like to thank all of the students who submitted their work for our contest. The writing contest wing title is Sweet and Venom by Rory Con uh, Kohansky. The cover contest winner is Apollo's Pride by Ryan Madeira, who was one of Mr. Vineland's. And the artwork winning title is Gender uh, Di uh, Dysfunction by Madeline Doltra. Congrats to all. Act fast and secure your copy of the 2023 VHS yearbook. There are only 125 yearbooks left to reserve. Justin limits the number of yearbooks that we have printed and 125 is the only amount we have left. So if you want a yearbook, you must buy it now to ensure uh, you get one in June. Go to Justin's Violent website to purchase your yearbook online now. You can also pay by cash or check to the main office of the South Building. I'm Vito Santulo, the big VC, and that, and that was the rundown. This ain't what you project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Sixty hundred block. I just wanna rap. I believe that the whole United States is mourning with me. And if the death of my son can mean something to the other unfortunate people all over the world, then for him to have died a hero would mean more to me than for him just to have died. In 1955, 14-year-old Emmett Till from Chicago, Illinois was visiting family in Money, Mississippi. After a long day of work, he went to Brian's Grocery to get some refreshments and was blamed to have whistled at, flirted with, or touched the hand of the store's wife, female clerk, and the wife of the owner, Caroline Bryant. For the time period, proper etiquette for black male was to not even acknowledge a white woman's presence, to go as far as clearing the sidewalk completely if you were walking on the same side. Due to this, he was abducted by the woman's family members, being tortured and lynched. Till had been missing for three days before his body was found in the Tallahassee River. Till's body was mutilated to a point that the only way he was identified was by his initials on his ring. His mother insisted upon an open casket funeral to display the hatred acted out against African Americans in the South. This murder brought nationwide attention to the injustice and racism in the South. The harassment and the hate that was performed on the 14-year-old Emmett Till showed that the entire African American race was under attack that an action that had no way of being proved true deserved a torturous death. This is Rosa, thank you for listening.